again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation, part two of the Arches Filet Shawl. Thank you so much for joining me today. And without further ado, let's get started on row 16. Okay, so at the end of the last row, we ended with an eyelet. So we're going to have to shift that eyelet in this upcoming row. So we shall, we shall. So start off by chaining up three, trying to go loosely so I can get into that stitch on the way back. All right. And then two doubles into that first stitch as per usual. and then double into the next two stitches for a total of five doubles. There we are. All right, and then we need a new fresh eyelet, shifting it over. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next stitch, and 10 more for a total of 11. Sorry, my yarn my, my yarn is being a little persnickety. So I already have the one, I need 10 more. And then we'll introduce another eyelet. So I already have four. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right. And then we need to have these eyelets shifting outwards. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. There we go. So the eyelet is shifting over. And six more for a total of seven doubles. And one more after this. There we go. So we've got our seven doubles. Then shift this eyelet over. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, like so. And it's going to be another 10 more doubles for a total of 11. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine, 10, and 11. There we go. All right, then these two eyelets, they need to shift as well. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and six more for a total of seven. So you're probably seeing the, the repetition here. That's four, five, six, and 
seven. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next so that this eyelet is also shifting away and over. Okay. And then going to do another 10 stitches for a total of 11. There we go. Got to make sure you get all those plies. Okay, so we already have five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, so chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next stitch and then double into that chain space because it does count as a stitch and then into the top of this first double three doubles okay so that's one and two and three. Ta -da! Okay, so as per usual, quick recap. Okay, so it's five, 11, seven, 11, seven, 11, and then five. And there you go. Okay, so for row 17, we're gonna need to bridge these gaps with a series of eyelets, we'll get there. But for now, start by chaining up three, turn, and then two doubles into that first stitch. There we are. And then double into the next six stitches for a total of nine. As much as I love this yarn, it does have a tendency of splitting sometimes. There we go. Okay, so we should have our nine. So two, four, six, eight, and nine. Perfect. Okay, so now at this point, I need to create five eyelets across the top here. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five times. All right, so we have our five eyelets all dressed up and ready to go. And then, in addition to this double, we need 10 more for a total of 11. Okay, so that's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 and 11. All right, then five more eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. And again, again, okay, two more. All right, so we have the five eyelets, then we need to add an additional 10 doubles to this one for a total of 11. Okay, that's four already. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, then we need eyelets again. So let's get to it. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five times. Okay, so I've got the five eyelets. And then doubling into every stitch until we reach that last stitch where we're going to do our increase. Almost there. Okay, then into that last stitch at the end, three doubles. There you go. Okay, so recap for row 17. It is nine then five eyelets, 11, five eyelets, 11, five eyelets, and nine. And there you go. So pretty. Mm. Okay, so we did a lot of leg work to get here, but this is, in my opinion, the beginning of the actual repeat for the pattern. So row 18 through row 22 is the repeat. So let's get to it with row 18 pretty straightforward. And then row 19, you get a little bit of a respite because it is a mirror row as I refer to them. So starting off by chaining up three, turning two doubles into that first stitch. I mean, I'm sure that you've seen the, the repetition before, but I really like to be thorough and, you know, make sure that you have a, a good understanding of where the pattern is going. All right, so this row, we need to have a beginning, a total of 15 stitches, and then we'll incorporate our first eyelet. So we already have the three at the end, an additional four, so I've got seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And the reason why we stop here is because 
this is the, the middle eyelet, and we want to start some new arches. So I'm going to scoot on over with a another eyelet. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. And we're going to start a new grouping. This one is going to be a grouping of 19. So we already have the one. We need 18 more. So we're just going to mosey our way across until we reach the center eyelet of the next arch. So if you don't feel like counting, you can go based on visuals, and that's fine as long as you have the right number of stitches. That's the important thing. It's all about the mathematics. Something I never thought that I would get into, but when it comes to multiples, increase rates, decrease rates, etc., I don't know. It just sort of clicks with me, but math was always my worst subject in school. Always. <laughs> you know, my brain just did not function that way. I think the beginning of the end was algebra. Geometry made sense to me, though. Seemed a bit more concrete, a little less theorem. At any rate, we are almost there, actually. So covering over the first eyelet and then the second eyelet, and it's that third middle one that we leave alone. And at this point, I should have 19 doubles. So let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 19. <laughs> yes. All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So from here, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. There we are. And let's proceed. Off to the next one. And we're getting there. Okay, so we've got our first eyelet coming up. So cover over this eyelet. And the next eyelet, leaving the third one open. Like so, leaving that one open. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Now we won't be able to do um, another 19 because we're almost at the end. However, we can crochet to the very last stitch incorporating our increase at the end. So that should be 15. So we've already got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and 
12, and then into that last stitch goes 13, 14, and 15. So 13, 14, and 15. There we go. Okay, so quick recap. 15, eyelet 19, eyelet 19, eyelet 15. There you go, because we're going to start up some new arches here. All right, so row 19, as I alluded to earlier, that row 19 is a, a mirror row, as I refer to it. Um, it is essentially the same thing. You're just adding the increase at the beginning and end as per usual. So there will be more stitches, but other than that, it is mirroring what we did in the previous row just now. We're gonna be doing doubles over the doubles, eyelets over the eyelids. The, the, uh, the last row, it was beginning and ending with 15. This row, it is beginning and ending with 17, but the rest of the stitches are exactly the same. So I'm not going to do the entire row on camera, but I'll get you started. So this will be 17 stitches, and then an eyelet, and then the 19, eyelet, 19, etc., etc., and then at the end, you'll do 17 stitches. You know, in the last stitch, you will do your increase of three in the last stitch as per usual, and that's really all there is to it for this row. So it's, it's kind of a respite, it's kind of a little vacation, and of course, if you want to skip ahead, that's totally fine. Timestamps are in the description box as always. Also, if you're interested, i uh, mentioned it before, uh, there is a link to the written pattern at my Etsy store if you're interested. Big old thank you to my testers for helping me with this. So we reach the eyelet, so chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and then another 18 stitches for a total of 19, etc., etc., etc. So I'll even do a double count just for you. All right, so we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep, see, 17, because we still were increasing at the edge here. And then, so this, it was going to be a total of 19 stitches until the next eyelet, 19 stitches, another eyelet, and then this is the last run, so it's gonna be a total of 17 stitches. The last three are a part of that 17. So, I'm going to leave you to it. I have every bit of faith and confidence in you, and I will meet back up with you for row 20. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Row 20. All right, row 20, gonna start off with an eyelet. So chain up four. There we are, because that's gonna count as a double crochet and a chain one space double crochet into that first stitch. So we have our eyelet at the beginning, then another 14 more stitches for a total of 15. Okay, so we already got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 
14 and 15. All right, and then we need to have this eyelet branch out. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next three stitches. Chain one, skip a stitch, and double into the next 15. So it's really a back and forth between 315, 315. I mean, right now it's 601 p.m. at the time of filming. It's not 315, but you get the idea. I'm just being silly. And then when we reach the next eyelet, we will have it branch out once again. You know, a lot of the time, not always, but a lot of the time with fillet patterns, you can sort of read where you need to be. Sometimes having the pattern is handy and helpful. Other times, you know, you get into the groove, you get into a certain point where you're like, well, no, I can just sort of look at my stitches and based on what I've already done, I can see what it is that I need to do. And that is what I encourage all of you to learn how to do because it makes the process so much easier. It takes time, takes practice, but it's worth it, like most things. Okay, we have reached the point. So just to prove that, let's see, should have 15. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. <laughs> it's lovely when things work, isn't it? All right, so we need an eyelet before the eyelet. So chain 1. Skip a stitch, double into the next three. Okay, another eyelet needed, so chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next 15. Okay, and we already have five. And we're getting there. Okay, and that's one more. There we go. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, and double into the next 15. Etc., etc., etc. And then we will add an eyelet at the end. It's all about symmetry. Okay, just a few more to go. And 
and into that last stitch. Double, chain one, and double. There we go. All right, so the count should be 15, if I'm not mistaken. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, and then our eyelet. Perfect. All right, so again, 15, 3, 15, 3, 15, 3, and 15. Okay. Okay, row 21, we're going to be shifting our eyelets. And to shift this one, well, we need to do our regular increase. So chain up three and turn two doubles into that first stitch. And then double into each of the next two stitches for a total of five. There we go. Then incorporate a new eyelet. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next stitch, and 10 more for a total of 11. So for this row, it is instead of 3, 15, 3, 15, it's 11, 7, 11, 7, 11, 7, beginning and ending with groupings of five. And all the while, we will be shifting our eyelets so that our arches are, well, arched. <laughs> okay, and one more. That should be it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Good. All right. Onwards. So we have to shift these eyelets over. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and six more for a total of seven. Okay, we've got four. and five, and six, and seven. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and 10 more for a total of 11. Okay, almost there. All right. Okay, so shifting these eyelets out. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and six more for a total of seven. Okay, this is five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and 10 more for a total of 11. See where I'm going with this? <laughs> I know there's a lot of repetition, but hey, said it before and I'm going to repeat myself again. I like to be thorough for you guys. You know, the the mirror rows, you know, that that that's a bit redundant even for me. That's a bit overkill. But otherwise, now I I do enjoy spending time with you. 
making sure that I am clear and concise and understood because, well, that's the whole point of this, don't you think? I don't like to leave you hanging. All right, I already have got five. I need six more. Okay, so that's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten and... Eleven. Okay, good. Now just get rid of this little tangly bit. There we go. All right, separating these eyelets out. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and six more for the total of seven. Okay, already got three. And four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next eleven, and then we will end with a five. Okay, so we already got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, then chain one. Skip a stitch, double into the next, double into that chain space, and then three doubles into the top of that last stitch. Fiddly, but worth it. Alright. Okay, so quick recap. Got a grouping of five. Eleven, seven, eleven, seven, eleven, seven, eleven, and five. And there you go. That is the end of row twenty-one. Okay, for those of you that are still with me, congratulations. This is the final row of the repeat, row 22. Like I said, it's rows 18 through 22, and then you just keep going over and over and over. Um, so for this row, we're going to be bridging the gaps with eyelets. So to start with, chain up three and turn two doubles into that first stitch as per usual. And then double into the next six stitches for a total of nine. And then we will get into our eyelet bridge as it were. Okay, so I should have nine here. Two, four, six, eight, and nine. Perfect. Okay, so from here we untangle what we have tangled. <laughs> Gotta love it when that happens, right? Ay vey. All right, so going to chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, a total of five times. Chain one, skip one, and double. 
chain one, skip one, and double. Two more times. All right, so we have our five eyelets ready to go. Now, in addition to this double that we just did, 10 more for a total of 11. And that's really all there is to it. It's a series of 11 doubles separated by groupings of five eyelets all the way to the end. And at the end, it will be nine doubles, sort of bookending the rest of the row. Okie dokie. So at this point, I should have 11, 2, 4, 6, 8. 9, 10, 11. <laughs> All right, then do my eyelets again. Chain one, skip one, double in the next, five times. All right, so I've got my five eyelets. Then I need a total of 11 doubles across this arch. It's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then five eyelets, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five times. There we go. Okay, got my five eyelets, then 11 doubles. Just need a little bit more yarn. It happens. There we go. Okay, did my 11 doubles, then five eyelets, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and so forth for a total of five eyelets. Okay, so I've got my five, and because we started with nine doubles, we need to finish with nine. So I already have one, I need eight more. So that's two, three, four, five, six, 
and then seven, eight, nine go into the top of that last stitch. There we go. So that's seven. Eight and nine. Perfect. Okay. And there you go. Full repeat. Very, very comprehensive, I hope. And there you go. So just keep re repeating rows 18 through 22 until your piece is big enough. And there you go. Alrighty, my dears, so that is going to conclude the arches fillet shawl. Now, as far as edging a border, whatever you want to call it, me, I went a very, very simple, you know, straightforward route. All I did was doing doubles across the entire top edge of the shawl after I'd finished a, a row 22. What I did was I just did doubles into each and every stitch. I think that it, you know, made it look a little bit cleaner, a little bit more finished. Um, I didn't want to do anything fancy schmancy uh, with some sort of, you know, elaborate edging. But yeah, just doubles all the way across. Just be sure to do your increase at the beginning and at the end of the row with your three doubles. Uh, at the beginning and your three doubles at the end. Otherwise, the points won't be quite as pointy. So aside from that, we are done. I really hope that you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. And thank you to my testers. Their help really means a lot to me because it's one thing for me to figure out the pattern, but what makes sense to me may not necessarily make sense to other people. So thank you again, my testers, for helping me out, making sure that this pattern was nice and thorough and comprehensible. Um, and if you're interested in your copy of the pattern, link in the description box down below. Go visit my Etsy store. And if this particular pattern doesn't tickle your fancy, I have a number of others that very well might. And that being said, you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.